you've awakened it. Be a dear and switch it on. Metamorphosis is so gloomy this time of year. Let's get out and explore the world, shall we? I wonder what the weather's like in David Bowen's hometown of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Select that location on the map. Nothing to see here. This isn't relevant to our investigation. We're looking for a different place. That's the one. Where are you? Once again, I find myself sitting here, alone, talking to a computer with no one on the other side. David, I don't know what to do. I spent $14 on this microphone so that we could talk. I don't know where you are. I haven't heard from you in weeks. You said you would be able to call every day. June is having a really rough time at school. And Libby has impetigo. And Dr. Carter says we could get it. If you have a doctor there, please go see him. I don't want you to get anyone else sick. You could be really contagious. And it's worse if you get it as an adult. Nice. That could be useful. What else can you find? Can I help? Uh-uh. No, sir. This is your last home-cooked meal for a while, and you're going to sit right there and not lift a finger. <sighs> that I can do. I hope they feed you decently. Can't have you wasting away on me. I'm sure they'll feed us. Are you worried about me? Always. This is a great opportunity, Les. If it's so great, why didn't Mitchell sign up, too? Beth's family is loaded. Mitch doesn't have to take every job comes his way. I'm gonna miss you. I'm making buttermilk pie. Do you hear what I just said? Yeah, I heard you. That reminds me. When you get to where you're going, check your gray carry-on. I left you a surprise. Did you now? Well, I should warn you. This place I'm going, they have strict rules about contraband. Especially contraband of a pornographic nature. Relax. They're... Tasteful. <laughs> then I should have no problem smuggling them in. Brilliant. Keep searching, you two. on the way home from the supermarket. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I, I took your last beer. <laughs> no, that's all right. Hey, what you got there? Popping pills? <laughs> huh? Oh, right. No. No, Libby's sick. Some kind of infection. Uh, uh, that's a shame. Yeah, she's fine. These things ain't cheap, though. And I find out today they aren't covered by our plan. Pretty much the perfect cap to a <laughs> leak. I don't know if Leslie told you, but... We're pretty upside down on the mortgage. Got enough late notices we could wallpaper the living room with them. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Anything I can do? Nah. 
You've bailed us out enough times. Can't ask you again. There's just no work right now. Oh, man. Hey, what if I told you I might have a job for you? Hey, you're gonna have to travel, but uh, the pay is real good. You kidding? I'll commute to the moon and back if it means we can save this house. You've got a nose for this. What else can we grab? Mom? June? Uh, did we forget how to knock? Sorry. Jeez. Shut the door. Now, let's try that again. Mom, may I please come in? You may. What are you doing? Helping your father pack a suitcase. What did you just stick in there? None of your business. Did you finish doing your homework? Yes. Mom, is Daddy joining the cult? Of course not. But this boss guy, Trig was off. He sounds like he's running a cult. I'm sure it's not that bad. Do not talk about our fearless leader that way. <laughs> Seriously, Dad? Hey, listen to me, Junebug. I am not joining a cult. I admit this seems a little weird, but this is a great opportunity for our family. There's a lot of money in this job. It's private security. This is no different than when I went to work at JL National. You remember? That was in Akron, Ohio. This is like halfway around the world. Yeah, it's a little bit further, but we need the money. Don't worry. I don't care one bit about this guy's belief system, and neither should you. If this Treglazov turns out to be as crazy as he looks, I'll just leave. I'll turn around and come right home. I promise. We're close. Let's find just a bit more. Hello? Mitchell? Hey, it's... Leslie. Leslie, yeah. What's up? <laughs> sorry, I... Hey, don't be sorry. What's going on, darling? Um... We're in a lot of trouble. What kind of trouble? I don't know how we're going to be able to buy groceries for the week. David isn't responding to my calls. It's like he dropped off the face of the earth. The check he was supposed to send last Thursday didn't arrive, and now I don't... I don't... Hey, hey, it's, it's all right. We'll figure something out. Anything I can do to repay you. We'll figure something out. Thank you. You've always been such a good friend to David. And me. I'll tell you what. Why don't you, uh... Why don't you come over to the house tonight and we'll, uh... Make this all okay. Oh, I, I thought Beth said you were out of town. Oh, well, yeah, Beth's going to her sister's for the weekend, but, uh... Hey, I'll be here. What'd you like for dinner tonight? I'll pick us up something. And I'll get us a bottle. Still drinking Irish gold? Oh, I don't... I mean, I shouldn't. I have to be up early tomorrow. No, 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 no. You, you come over and, uh, and relax and, and have a drink with me. We'll make this okay. Don't you worry, darling. We'll figure this all out. We should have enough to make this Prisrak disappear. Let's conjure a little journalistic magic. We're here to build a case against the Prisrak David Bowen. The full story, replete with scandalous quotes and damning photos. Select some audio or an image to get started. If David didn't want his words used against him, he shouldn't have opened his big mouth in the first place. I don't care one bit about this guy's belief system, and neither should you. If this Treglazov turns out to be as crazy as he looks, I'll just leave. But this boss guy, 
Tranquilizer. He sounds like he's running a cult. Well, I should warn you. This place I'm going, they have strict rules about contraband. Then I should have no problem smuggling them in. You could be really contagious, and it's worse if you get it as an adult. In the newspaper biz, a story without pictures is a day without sunshine. Let's brighten up this article with a matching photo. That cop won't fight. You'll need to choose a different photo for the quotation. Nothing worse than a sharp image of a fuzzy concept. Let's pick the most incriminating photo we can. A kitchen knife. But is it sharp enough to cut him where it counts? I don't care one bit about this guy's beliefs. But this boss guy. Well, then I should have no problem smoking. The quote doesn't ring true in the context of that photo. Try changing it up. Let's clean the slate and do this again. Antibiotics. As usual, it's not the pills themselves that are dangerous. It's the infection they were meant to quell that could bring down poor David. You could be really contagious, and it's worse if you get it as an adult. That's worthy of a Pulitzer right there. Let's send this story to print. Would you care to be credited for this scoop? Credit given where credit's due. David Bowen will see your name atop this article. Provided his eyes aren't swollen shut this time tomorrow. Between you and me, I don't feel comfortable with this. Those poor people. Don't be such a pill. We just take what we need and ignore their tales of hardship. At least I do. If you get off on every sordid detail, well, that's your problem. Now, we've got one more server to go. Let's get to the other side of Terminus.
see water down there. It occurs to me I don't know how to swim. is mine. It's a taser. They won't find me in here.
Sounds good. If like me you own a next generation portable, then you have to check out Escape Plan by Funbits Interactive. Lil and Larg need your help. They find themselves in a booby trap laden house of horrors. Get them out of there with your gyroscopic talents and be quick about it. As always remember, Bakuki is not your friend. But Helium is.
radical adjustment to unenamored declination seven. I hope they can't see me here. Three. Zamiatan's We is a near sibling to Pasternak's Zhivago, both truants of the Russian Revolution of 1917, both landmines in the hands of children. Zamiatan takes his imagination in the direction of the dystopian state, the bugbear of artists who irrationally fear the cradling hand of sound government. His nightmare state keeps everyone in glass houses for better surveillance. Librarian, the people don't want privacy. They just don't want to see you watching them. When I first entered the cold world of Fract, I thought I was playing an unfinished game. I wandered around its flat shaded plainscapes, contemplating if I should flame the developers. I then hit some random buttons and started to peel away at the musical odyssey hidden inside. Fract rewards patient explorers with its ever-evolving funky fresh soundtrack. I bet developer Phosphine Systems is a big hit at parties. To borrow a phrase from C.S. Lewis, Frozen synapses, like playing chess with a SWAT team. But unlike chess, you have to plan out all your moves ahead of time before pressing the prime button. Typically, I'll spend hours orchestrating the perfect breach, only to watch in horror as my plans go awry. My squad? Dead. My ego? Bruised beyond repair. I love the creators behind Road Not Taken. These spry guys are all about paving their own way, which they certainly did with this rogue-inspired puzzle game where you have to survive 14 years in a hostile environment. Yeah, I have no idea what that's like. VVVVVV is like gazing into a prism of video game past without the disappointment that your favorites weren't as good as you remember. VVVVVV's Commodore 64 style visuals get a lot of love, but VVVVVV's greatest accomplishment is its level design. Every pixel in its right place. Save it with me, VVVVV. Gemini Ru has a sorrowful beauty to it. Built single handedly, this sci fi noir feels like both a love letter to early CD ROM era adventure games and a lament on why these types of games aren't made anymore. What Gemini Ru lacks in high-end production, it makes up for in clever storytelling. Its multi-layered narrative was clearly a labor of love, and a journey to the past worth taking. Truth Bomb Number 1 I was a little skeptical that the Super Indie team at Supergiant could buck the sophomore slump following Bastion. Truth Bomb Number 2 When I first sat down to play Transistor, 
I was confused as to why this wasn't just another action RPG beat em up. Truth bomb number 3. After a few minutes of getting used to its inventive combat mechanic, I was in love. Rarely has a puzzle game contained such a compelling and well-written narrative as Crow Team's The Talos Principle. A deep philosophical undercurrent courses through the many challenging labyrinths set within a surreal and warmly lit Mediterranean clime. Add in some worthy obstacles, like drones that blow up in your face, and this smartly drawn game delights and terrifies in equal measure. A fascinating experiment in the concept of flow, and the mesmerizing effect, patterns and progression have on players. While I'm certain there are many interesting papers written about this game, I prefer to analyze flow from the perspective of that game company's evolution. They are one of the most important game developers out there. room for anything else. The Overseer is a glutton for raw data. He's already cleaned his own plate. Now he's eating off yours, mine, and everyone you've ever known.
Prifrak Edwin Chung hails from Shenzhen, China. Select that access point on the map. Wrong location. That's the one. Yeah, 